Now we're gonna create a nose, okay? And noses come in many different shapes, but uh, the bottom line, you need to wedge your clay and create something um, like a pyramid, okay? So you can roll it and make it like cone, okay? And this would be the foundation for your nose, okay? This would be a foundation for your nose. So I'm going to score this part again and we're going to apply a slip here, score it and this is what will help us to make sure that we have a good contact here as we are working on this, okay? So this is what we're doing and we are pressing quite heavily here, okay? So this nose will stay in place, okay? Now I'm going to work it in. Pinch, and I'm using my fingers here to make sure that my nose gets attached to my face. The exact shape of the nose could be up to you you can make it a bit more pinchy like this or you can make it more like a bird shape like a bird beak okay that's up to you i'm just making the neutral nose the neutral nose it has that shape so typically the width of the nose is somewhat um coinciding with the corners of the mouth here and I will start shaping it with my nostrils going like I'm pinching the nostrils on the inside okay can be of a very different shape uh, but you start with the cone you attach it and then once you attach you start forming the tip of the nose and the nostrils okay don't get the nostrils too thin because they can get brittle and break but you can pinch with your thumbs inside okay just to show the nostrils You can also check from the sides how it looks like. Again, um, we try to make it um, not too realistic because we need to have strong facial expression. And then we just want to add here a little bit on the nose so it's not too thin on the sides. Okay. Don't overwork this because the more you think, think about it, the more damage you can make actually. So our face is here and I'm just going to check it a little bit on this side because I don't want this to be like too saggy. exactly like a Pinocchio but you know something more expressive okay maybe that looks like this okay maybe it's like a troll or some mythical figurine The nose. Okay, and this is something 
for the nose that we have. And now all I have uh, left is uh, the uh, cheekbones, okay? Because I want to make sure that um, my cheekbones also have some volume in it. And I can use this uh, liable stage, plastic stage of my clay to kind of mold on my cheekbones a little bit more, okay? So this is the shape that I have. And now all we have to do is just to smooth it out, work on uh, my hair, on the texture. You can add other decorations if you want um, to make it look more mythological or more fairy tale-ish like. Uh, this is up to you, your fantasy. Okay, but uh, for the most part, face is ready.